Welcome back to MHUB Inside. Today we're going to do another uh, evaluation video, post evaluation of our Wazer. Last time you saw me, we were unboxing this, so now you get to see what some of our thoughts, the pros and cons, and the lovely features of this machine. All right, so we are taking a look again at our Wazer. As you can see, it's in a little bit of a different location than it was before. Uh, we set it up so it's a little bit nicer of a cleaner and cleaner area for our members to utilize. Um, so some things that we've figured out. Uh, last time you saw, we cut out that little multi-tool from the piece of aluminum, aluminum uh, that was just built into the machine when it first arrived. Uh, we've cut out a number of other pieces. Uh, what we've figured out that kind of fills in the blanks of MHUB's capability is thicker metals than we could do with the fiber laser, um, tougher materials that we didn't have any capability for whatsoever, so porcelain, glass. Uh, one of our interns actually did a very lovely project as their first thing, uh, Matt and the intern, stained glass. So this was actually one of the first things that came out. I'm really impressed. I've never done stained glass before, so I'm actually really looking forward to learning that process. If you're interested, that might be a future video. Please let us know down below. Um, Things that we really, really like. The WAM software, I don't know what it stands for, uh, is super intuitive to use. Um, very easy to log in. The libraries that are there are super on point. The estimator is always exact. Uh, so far we haven't had any issues where it says, oh, this is going to take 15 minutes and it took like an hour. Everything is right on point. Um, a couple of little cons, or not even that big of a con. If you notice, this area is fairly clean. We were kind of worried there might be a water issue or something. Yep, it's, it's a water process. Mostly we just get a little bit of dust coming out from the pickup underneath or maybe that's some spillage. Um, but in general, we were worried that there might be some water and it hasn't been an issue at all. We do have it next to the slop sink, um, but so far that's been fine. Um, if you take a look, we have this lovely sample board where you'll see some of our different uh, process or some of the different materials that we've been able to run. Um, things like really thick aluminum, it'll do. The edge quality isn't perfect, but if you need something done like quicker and you don't want to learn the process of something like CNC, this will get it done. Especially for, I think the max is half inch aluminum, uh, somewhere on here, around here. I'll find it in a second. Oop, there you go. So you can see this did half inch aluminum. Uh, the edge qualities could be finished by hand afterwards or something else. Um, but in general, we're enjoying playing around with this. We're trying to come up with some new materials. So if there's anything you'd like us to see cut in half, we would also like to hear that down below. So please let us know. Uh, but in general, it's been pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit messy cleaning out the tanks. That's to be expected. Um, it doesn't go through as much water as we'd expect. It self fills. Uh, the maintenance cycle is really easy. It pops up and says, hey, purge the nozzle. We run into a clogged nozzle once or twice. You just go through the built-in settings, it flushes itself out. So it's really nice and easy, friendly, uh, user-friendly to maintain and run. Uh, we have gone through all the barrels. Just about one of these has just a little bit left in it. Um, so it does use quite a bit of media. That is a thing to keep in mind while utilizing this. Um, so you will end up spending, I think our estimate is somewhere in the $15 a half hour range for cutting materials. Um, so keep that in mind when thinking about this as a, as a tool to add to your shop. Um, if you'd like to see anything else, please let us know. Thanks. Have a good day.